pleased to be joined live by James Chow in Hong Kong. He's the World Health Organization Goodwill Ambassador and also host of podcast The China Current. Uh, some new drugs are being tested to treat the infected. Just how viable are they at this current stage? Well, the World Health Organization, Meng Meng, said yesterday that none of these therapies have been confirmed to uh, be effective treatments for this particular outbreak of novel coronavirus. But there has been the case of a man over in Washington State in the U.S. who was treated with uh, an anti-Ebola uh, therapy. And as you said, also therapies, antiretroviral therapies, are being used traditionally in frontline treatments for HIV and AIDS. So what this really shows us is that there is hope. We don't need to think about a vaccine that's starting from from the ground up from square zero. In the meantime, James, prevention measures and controls have been put in place to contain the spread of the virus. What impact are they having here? Uh, what we have here are various prevention control measures. Some of them have been uh, uh, a curb on free flows of movement. We've seen a number of cities being locked down uh, in China, transport, even certain borders with Hong Kong where I happen to be right now. And while I'm very, very careful about any advocacy of travel restrictions, these have been put in place already. And given that they have, I think at some certain point, we're going to see these joint measures uh, providing a combined effect and we will be able to see a larger impact. I was speaking to a friend today, a very long conversation with a friend who's currently in Beijing, and she was sharing with me how looking at the daily statistics is worsening her own emotional and mental health. So for everybody who's over there in China right now, who's trying to get through each day in confinement, in self-quarantine, or even in compulsory quarantine, manage your mental health at the same time, because the rest of the country is with you, and I think the whole world is with you in solidarity as well. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.